up, JJ family? Welcome back to a good time with just me today. You guys seen by the title of the video what kind of video it is that this is about to be. A lot of you guys are always requesting how is it that I edit pranks? What software, what program do I use? Like what is it that I use to make them as funny as they are? Well, today I'm happy to be partnering up with Wondershare Fumora. They are an editing software company that gives you the easiest tools for you to make your videos hella funny, hella interesting, and very, very, very professional. All right, so tune in guys, because this is about to be an epic video. I need you guys to grab your papers, your pencils, and take notes, all right? Because you're about to end up editing like a professional, like me. So before we get started with this video, I just want to go ahead and point out some of the major highlights I love about Filmora Pro. One is how cheap it is. Like, it's so affordable compared to other editing programs out there. Filmora Pro does come in at a very good price for everything that they have to offer. So the second one is their online help support. So if you ever need help trying to understand something and, or you can't find a certain tool within the program, there's people out there that work for Filmora Pro that will be willing to help you and guide you through it. So the third one is how on their website they have many many videos that will give you a tutorial on how to use their program so if you're someone new who doesn't really know how to edit or you've never done this before you can just go ahead and watch their videos that will help you on how to edit your first video with their program and the last one is how easy it is to use I'm telling you Filmora Pro is very very friendly for those who are new and beginners to editing me myself I'm someone who doesn't have the brains to learn a new program but with Filmora Pro it's so easy like even your grandmother can do it so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and visit fumora.wondershare.com I'm gonna put the link in the description and on here you'll be able to see that you can download the free version which is right here and know you have the option to buy now for now I'm, I'm gonna just be downloading the free version so like that you guys can see how it is um, if you're someone who has already downloaded the free version and you want to have the full package everything that Fumora Pro has to offer you can go ahead and click buy now and once you get on here it's gonna show you that you have the free download available all features free updates but once you edit the video there might there will be a watermark and the free tech support you don't have that one with the free version you have the lifetime bundle which is $150 and this one is the best seller as you can see right here this one has all the features free updates no watermark free tech support and also you have the one that's $90 where you will be billed annually I'm not hundred percent sure if I'll be the type to buy the annually one I'd rather just buy one time fee $150 and I'll have it forever like I said you will be able to update the program whenever a new updates out so it's definitely up to you I recommend download the free version get used to it if you like it go ahead and get the lifetime one or you can get the one that you'll be billed annually so I've already downloaded the program I'm gonna just go ahead open up on the shelf Filmora Pro it's gonna take us a little time to load up and once it loads up it should have a beautiful screen just like this you have the option to create a new project or if you'd like to go ahead and open an existing one I haven't done anything yet but if you do have something that you've worked on before you can go ahead and open that section right there so create new project and once you create this new project you're gonna have this layout um, to be quite honest when I first opened the program this is not the layout it had so the way that it looked was a little bit more like this let's take a look it was where is it right here the editing workplace it looked more like this so you have the viewer this is where the video is going to be where you're editing and you're gonna see what you're editing down here the trimmer what you normally would do here is you you'll input a video onto this section it will allow you to trim whatever part you want and then drag it onto your timeline down here over here on the left side you have your controls which will allow you to control whatever section or whatever it is you want to do to your video you have the scope the text the layout down here you have the media the effects audio mixer um, and obviously like I mentioned this is your timeline so one of the key features of this Filmora Pro program is that you can change the layout however you want for an example if you want to go ahead and have your effects you can just grab the effects put it bring it to you know the right bottom of your screen all you have to do is drag it over here select where you want it to be so I want it to be on the right of my timeline drop it and here is your effects if you want to go ahead and move your viewer 
to the middle. Yeah, right here, boom. And here's your rear right in the middle of the screen. You can make this bigger if you'd like, you know. You can change the sizing of whatever format you want. Now, let's go to the media section. You wanna go ahead and import a video for you to start editing, obviously. So go ahead and import. I already have here a prank that I've done on Joanna not that long ago. I have yet to edit it, cause I've just been too busy. But I'ma just go ahead and grab this clip and just show you guys some of the key things that I do that makes the videos funny go ahead and select it so this is the video now as i mentioned this is the trimmer so it will allow you to go ahead and select what part of this video you want to edit so for an example let me just drag this over to this section the section when i actually sprayed her i'll do it right here i'll go ahead and select this button boom and then i'll bring this over to maybe right here let's just say boom so this is the section that will be selected that I can just go ahead and bring over to my timeline, all right? You wanna go ahead and make sure you drag the video onto the viewer section, the timeline. Once on the timeline, you can start working on whatever part you want of the video. Like I mentioned, I'm gonna go ahead and just come over here. I wanna work with this, right? So if you wanna go ahead and cut this section so like that you can get rid of this right here, all you have to do is come over here to this little blade option, or you can just go ahead and click select tool and see. So if you click this C button, boom, right here. That's the slice, the cut, whatever. Now all you have to do is select this little arrow right here, which is, I believe, V. You go ahead and highlight that little clip, delete it, and boom, that's gone. So now you can go ahead and drag this over here. And that's just the cutting that you can do. If I wanna go ahead and cut more bits, which is something that I do on all of my videos, you guys can see here on the audio wave, with, where there's no audio, I hate having a silence gap on my videos. So this is when I'll normally go ahead and just go ahead and start cutting things out. I hate a silence gap on my videos. Sorry, no, that's not what I was supposed to do. Right there, I made a mistake. I should have just switched over to the little arrow. So in any circumstance, when you do make a mistake, all you have to do is Command Z and it'll go back to what it was. So let me go ahead and collect, select the arrow, which is the V button, um, delete this section, drag this over here, and you see there's not a big gap silence on the videos, which is something that I really don't like having. Simple stuff. It's very, very simple, my friends. So let's say for an example, you, know, you guys know how I love to zoom in on Joanna's face a lot, right? Let's drag this over it somewhere over here. Where is her face? Let's just say, right here let's do this right here that little section that looks like a funny section right so you can go ahead and zoom in by using this little this little bar right here go ahead and zoom in bam perfect so now you're perfectly zoomed in so it gives you more of an angle exactly what you want to cut so let's go over to a cutting tool bam i'm gonna select it right here go over to a v tool you want to go ahead and select the timeline and be right over exactly where you want to zoom in so like that you can see what you're doing so i'll go ahead and select this clip right here just go ahead and over to controls transform um you want to go ahead and scale it and you zoom in as much as you want if you want to go ahead and move it sorry i don't have enough space I can see everything right there boom if you want to go ahead and move it the, the position bar you can move it up or down it's up to you you can move it to the left i mean sorry you can move it to the left or the right it's definitely up to you so i'm gonna just move it all a little bit to the left um do and leave it right there so you guys can now see the difference it's gonna be way zoomed in as prior to this it was zoomed out all right and there it is so yeah that's how you basically zoom in if you'd like um now let me go ahead and show you guys something else that they have which is the text layout if you want to go ahead and add a text right all you have to do is come over to the little section right here you click it and then click anywhere on the video boom so right now i want to go ahead and start typing so right now i want to go ahead and start typing i'm gonna just write jeffrey is the best pranker Boom, you see, cause I am the best pranker. Okay, you wanna go ahead and highlight it and you'll go over here to the text section. You can change the sizing if you want. Let's say for an example, I wanna make it the, the size of the font, it's gonna be 80. Um, you can change whatever font you want. One of my favorite fonts, let's see if I find it, right here, Bevel's New. Um, you guys will always see that I have this font everywhere. I love this font. So let's make this a little bit bigger, 150. So now if you wanna just move it somewhere else on the screen, just come over back to your arrow button, 
select it and move it you see that for example I'm gonna leave it right here bam so at the moment this text is only appearing for two seconds on the screen if you want to extend the length of how long you want it to show up on your video all you have to do is select it and drag it out as you can see right here right now I've added an, a second I'm adding two seconds yeah three seconds if you want to reduce it you can reduce it by one second um, boom and now it's only going to be available for just one second so I'll come over here go ahead and play it Jeffrey best pranker boom one second like I mentioned you want to extend it to like four seconds you you can feel free to do so let's see right here let's just do that and let's come back and it's gonna be there for four seconds you see what I'm saying Simple stuff man. This program it's amazing. It has so many tools that you can use. Like when you see over here on the effects, it has the 360 video effects, it has the animations, it has the audio effects, the blurs, the channels, the color correction. So many things. I could sit here for hours just explaining to you every little tool that it has. I'm just going over the basics. A simple cutting and adding. If you want to go ahead and add a song, like I normally do, you add a song. Go ahead and go to import. Let's see for an example, a funny little song right here once the song is added onto your little file right here go ahead and drag it over and it will play you can select it to play right here and now you have a song normally what I'll tend to do is reduce the volume down to like 24 so like that the song itself is not so loud compared to the actual footage of the video so I shown you guys how you can zoom in how you can cut how you can add a text how you can add music which is what the key frames of every video you edit if you guys would like to see me using other effects with this program go ahead and leave those comments down below I'll be more than glad to show you guys how I use more effects there's a lot of things that I normally use but like I said that video will be way too long let me know exactly what kind of videos you'll like to see me do and I'll do them for you guys but make sure you go ahead and check out the link down below you can download the free version so you can try it yourself and just play around with it you're not if you find it a little bit difficult don't worry about it just give it some time and I can guarantee you eventually you'll become a pro at editing because this program is so easy for you to understand everything is just right there laid out in front of you you're not gonna break your head or lose brain cells trying to learn this program I can guarantee that to you I'm someone who doesn't like trying new things I don't I I hate it whenever I find a new job and I have a whole new software that I need to use I hate it my my head just breaks down but with Filmora Pro I'm I, I can guarantee you it's not like that so like I said just go ahead and try it guys let me know if you download it if you attempted it and let me know how you feel about it all right listen thank you so much for watching this video it's been a pleasure trying to explain to you guys the key things that I do to make the videos funny and um yeah thank you Filmora Pro for giving me their this opportunity to share this with my JJ family.